I done it on purpose. You messed it up, not me. Hello, Toby Loba. Face is looking fresh. Oh, lights. Good. Never. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing super, super well. In today's video, we've got another Nigeria vlog. Hello, if you are new to the channel, my name is Rekha and we do upload on this channel every two days on Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday at 6 p.m. UK time. So make sure to subscribe down below to my channel. So today, another start of the new Nigeria vlog. Hello. Make sure your post notification bells are turned on so that you do know when I upload my next vlog. But um, say goodbye to the cornrows, hello to the new wig. I've just chucked on full face makeup. I just was in the mood to do it today. So um, I've chucked that on. Gonna show you guys my outfit. I am filming on my other phone. So I'm sorry if I look gray, but for some reason, every time I film on this phone, my, my face looks gray. I don't know what happens, but I don't actually look gray. So, okay, yeah. So this is, the outfit i don't know how well you guys will be able to hear me but um this is what i'm wearing today this little two-piece i absolutely love is from zara just comes with this little crop top and skirt with like a little slit um and yeah we're gonna be we're gonna start getting ready to move we are going to a buffet i don't actually know what it's called but my auntie and uncle are waiting for us at their house so we're gonna start moving now my brother's not ready so <sighs> i'm gonna start getting ready soon he's still lying on the bed so yeah once we was all ready we headed off to a southern sun hotel for a buffet lunch slash dinner Here's me, just and my cousin, enjoying the sun. I absolutely freaking love this. Please make sure to follow my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Snapchat. Once we got out of the car, we just headed off to the hotel. It was honestly so big. We actually reunited with a guy that we met up with at the bar, um, and we went to lunch with him. Here's my cousin. He looked really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> and here's inside of the restaurant. This boy is always dancing, man. My mom, I can't dance. <laughs> I can't dance, guys. I need, uh, I need some lessons. When we got a table, this was the food I had. It was amazing. Um, hello. Look at my hair. Look at my little outfit. Literally got on these like shorts. My dad wants us to leave to go to my auntie and uncle's house. Let's go. It's a lot later now. It's about seven o'clock. We came back from the buffet and all I done was edit the vlog. That's what I've been doing. But yeah, it's a while later. I've just been editing the vlog, exporting the vlog, taking off my makeup, wash my face. Um, and now I'm trying to do some laundry. That's what I've been asking my brother to help me with. Because we're try I've got a lot of dirty clothes. Um, and I would like to wash them. We're now going to head off to my auntie and uncle's house. Going to take a quick walk. Drinking some Chapman. Love that. Um, and this is my little OETD. So yeah, got a little bit of my moisturizer on, hydrate the skin. Skin is real dry out in the streets. But yeah, live and life. <laughs> next day starting off the new vlog again so let's go we're gonna go to mile two today i've just gotten ready just strapped on this outfit 
just all pink. I don't know where this guy's trying to reverse. But, um, yeah. I done it on purpose. You messed it up, not me. Then we headed off to mile two. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on your post notifications so that you do know when I upload all of my videos. My brother's literally fast asleep, but we headed off to mile two. Mile two is actually an area where my mum's mum used to live before she passed away. RIP Angel, I know you're in such a better place, but we just went back just to see what it was looking like it was honestly so run down it's shocking because this is why i used to come when i was a little girl and, and just play and it's so sad to see it looking like this but i think it's so important to go back to where you were when you grew up and like to see your little childhood memories and stuff like that is so important for i just think it's so important for your life to know where you came from to know where you grew up um, obviously I was born in the UK but whenever I'd come to Nigeria on holiday this is where we came and it's sad actually to see it looking like this but after that we headed to ShopRite in mile two we do want to go to the ShopRite in Akeja but this one is literally right by um, mile two so yeah here's just us in the shopping mall Beans. Dry. Maybe she wants Maggie. No? We have Maggie. But she said something for fried rice. When we left ShopRite, we actually headed off to the church that my mum and dad actually got married in. We was in the area, so we thought, why not stop by? This is just so cute, so cute. And then we headed off straight to my auntie and uncle's house, which you would have seen in vlog number two. So make sure you go check out vlog number two because you guys are gonna see some familiar faces. Now, for me, this is the part of Nigeria that I absolutely love. Of course, I don't necessarily love the two-hour car journeys and the traffic, but I just love to see people living their lives. Like, the hustle and bustle of Nigeria, a lot of people, they don't like it. Like, they're just like, why is there so many motorcyclists? Why is there so many people everywhere? But to me, this is what makes Nigeria, and this is what makes it so different to so many other countries. And this is why I love being at home. It's so different to, to the UK, so different to London, so different to Romford from, from where I come from back home. But this is what makes Nigeria so different for me. And I absolutely love it so much. So this was just a market while we was on the way to where my uncle lives. I actually don't know where he lives. So I'm so sorry, but look how busy it is. Like, is this Dagnum Sunday market? It's not. This is a market. The way that people are just crossing the road is so dangerous, but this is their lives and it's it's just it's so crazy, but I love it. Every couple of miles you guys will literally see some animals and just nature. It's sad that they are literally like in a herd eating a bunch of rubbish like but cows and in nigeria you find the most different cows ever like, i thought cows are only supposed to be black and white i didn't know there was brown cows white cows and like multicolored cows <laughs> i probably sound so stupid i'm so sorry
You don't agree to me. Uh -huh. Yeah, she just fell. It looks so If you guys are Nigerian, you know about Maltina, you know about Malta, you know about Supermart, try it out. I'm telling you, it's not all everyday chat, man. Sometimes Supermart. After leaving my uncle's house, we headed off to the Federal Palace. So this is a place that we just wanted to come and eat. So beautiful, so gorgeous. The interior, I was like, whoa, like this is this is something else but this is where we came it was so pretty so nice and i did actually want to change from african food i've been having nigerian food for two weeks straight which you would have seen in all the other vlogs but i thought you know what sis treat yourself to a little burger and chips babe treat yourself so that's exactly what i done I just ordered a beef burger and chips. My dad got pan jam. I don't know what my brother's gonna get. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't ask her for the Wi-Fi. But um, yeah, I'm so hungry. Thank you. Oh, you cannot be a little bit of English food. I'm so sorry. Look at my burger. Look at my chips. I was craving chips this whole trip. It was so nice, but I was a little bit jealous of my dad, not gonna lie. After eating our food, we thought we would just step outside and see what the view looks like. And once again, I was not disappointed. doing my makeup i done some laundry yesterday which you guys would have seen but i'm gonna start doing my makeup get ready for the day this is my outfit today um just chopped on my louis vuitton headband this long maxi bodycon dress which is from plt and i'm just gonna wear my sliders with it but i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup on While I get ready, I'm literally just gonna catch up on my vlogs. I've just uploaded this one, which is a trip to Lagos, Nigeria. This is the third vlog. If you guys still haven't seen the first and second one, make sure to go check it out. By the time this vlog is up, this one would have been out. This one is actually going up tonight at 6 p.m. I'm filming this on the 3rd of August. So make sure to catch up on the Nigeria vlogs. I'm so excited for you guys because we've got so much more uni content coming on my channel once i get home all of the uni content is going to be up but yeah just make sure to catch up on my channel don't forget to subscribe and let's start getting ready for the day okay 
we are ready to go. I look fit today. But yeah, we're all ready to go. I have literally done the most minimal makeup. Done everything apart from eyelashes and eyeshadow. So, yeah. So, today's vlog is a little bit delirious i want to say because it is a lot of errands running so today's plan initially was to go to the hairdressers and go to the nail shop because my mum and my mum my mum's not here babe okay my brother and my dad actually wanted to get a manicure and a pedicure so that's what we were supposed to do but it didn't quite happen so i've just got ready just jumped into the car uh, i actually don't know what we're doing today so after a lot of boring errand running we actually headed off to the airport hotel i didn't want to film the errands going to the tailors going to the washerman going to the dry cleaners it's boring so um then we headed off i feel like this whole vlog is just about food i'm so sorry <laughs> but we headed off to the airport hotel for some chinese they do the best Chinese ever. So we headed in and there was actually no light. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, this hotel's actually got a pool and it looked like they was having a party, but no one was even there. <laughs> so, so I don't know. My dad was honestly so sad to see that this restaurant was a little bit run down like it was empty my dad was coming here in the 90s and 80s and he's like where is everyone um so he actually got a little bit sad about it but we're regular customers would it really be a nigeria vlog without us all getting a little bit of chapman i don't think so Did you take the photo? Oh, you want my reaction of him eating this pepper? He's had like the hottest sauce ever. This is the hottest thing I've had this trip, guys. <laughs> my dad's face. <laughs> it's hot. Ah! No, hot as in temperature. No, hot as in spice. Is it not spicy? It's hot. It's too hot to handle. I don't know if you guys know, but my favorite ever food in life is Chinese. So wherever I go, whatever country I go to, I always like to have a little bit of Chinese. I love sweet and sour pork. I love special fried rice. I love Hong Kong style noodles. Oh, Chinese is for me. Like, I think I was Chinese in my past life. Like, I think I was because there's no food without question that I will have except from Chinese that like, it's just my favorite ever so we enjoyed this food we was living life this whole vlog is about food like <laughs> it's not about Nigeria it is about food and I want you guys to be jealous of my Chinese because it was top tier okay so we are so there's music playing i'm so sorry but we've literally just finished having our chinese and now we are gonna go get our nails done i'm just waiting for the driver my dad and my brother want to get a pedicure i think i can't exactly remember i know it, it looks small <laughs> So we are going to Cabana Grill right now. I've just chucked on this little denim jacket because it is a little bit chilly um, and it is like an outdoor place. So, what? No. Yeah, we're all in the car. It's been such a long day today, but we're heading off. It's about, what's the time? 20 past seven. 
first stop was to my auntie and uncle's house as we was going there together my dad's little treat here's just us on our way cabana grill is like a fish grill place shawarma place if you guys know what i'm talking about so we was just heading off there this is cabana grill it's honestly so gorgeous such a good nightlife i absolutely love it there will be some more night out vlogs coming real real soon hello toby loba face is looking fresh guys we're at cabana grill good evening auntie roti where's timmy oh she's there how was your day good she's fine tired yeah hi timmy hi, hi wale oh, you too. fine many of you have been asking me about the nightlife in nigeria and honestly the nightlife in nigeria is really really good but just make sure that you are being safe there will be some more nigeria vlogs coming towards the end of the month i am just going to focus on my uni content for the time being but stay tuned for the end of august when there'll be a couple more vlogs It was satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lights. Good. Nepa. <laughs> while we was at cabano grill there was actually a massive screen showing the tokyo 2020 olympics and i was actually enjoying watching it i have not watched any of the olympics so far but here is some of the food of course your sis had to get chapman daddy was drinking a little bit of a beer um so cabana grill like i said is a fish play so here's my brother <laughs> and yeah, here's the plantain like the and the fish which is humongous like yeah <laughs> so a bit massive Thank you all so much for watching this video. I did actually forget to do an outro and I'm so sorry about it. The rest of the Nigeria vlogs will be up at the end of August. I just want to enjoy it this time with my family right now. So that's exactly what I will be doing, but I will still be filming. They just will not go up straight away. Be sure to check out the rest of the Nigeria vlogs and I will see you guys all very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.